You can't seriously go by the timeline given of the phone calls. Think about it. If you wanted to use a deceased person's phone to, say, make your alibi more believable, to make sure other people would have an alibi at a certain time, there's not anything difficult about using the phone of someone who is deceased. You just strategically place that phone call. You dial it when you want to. And then you can go back and say, well, you know, uh, they placed a call at this time. Why, why were all these phone calls made? And, and you know, uh, Jack D didn't pick up. Well, maybe Jack D... Uh, was the one making the phone call. Where was Jack D's phone? Can we tell where Jack D's phone was when these calls were made? There's so much more to look into here that no one's looking into. Let's try to keep up and really use our head and look under the rug instead of just looking on the rug. Let's start really doing a deep dive into these stories because anybody can use a deceased person's phone and say, oh, they made a call.